Oh yeah, she's hucking. Look at that. What a shot. He loves this hole. He loves this hole. He loves this hole. Get out of here. All right, I gotta be honest with you guys. Today, I'm actually a little bit nervous because today we're playing a tournament round, our tournament, and we happen to choose to play it at one of Pete Dye, Diabolical Dye's hardest golf courses. Oh yeah! Oh, another fairway no right away. Away. off the rock. Yeah, this one should uh, this one should get interesting. All right, head over the first tee to meet Mike, and we also have Brad Worthington, who's a director of instruction here at Pound Ridge. He's gonna be joining us as well, hopefully giving us a few tips that we can pick up on while we're out there. And guys. We're gonna be playing our Dolphin Virtual Open Round. You've got the entire month of August. You can participate too. We'll tell you all about how it works in a few minutes, but make sure you go to golfacy.com slash open to get registered. Free to register. There's Mike. Mike, we got some killer prizes too, right? Oh, so many good prizes. I love this event every year. Every year we have fun. We've got over $2,000 yep. in door prizes. All you have to do is participate to be eligible. It's free. Like I said, we'll tell you all the details. Handicap, no handicap. We'll fill you guys in, but we gotta go over that first tee meet up with Brad and play some golf. Let's go. Way to get off the first tee. Good. Good shot. Thank you. I told you off. Yep. One thing I do like about this course, and Pete Dye is very smart about giving lots of options for different golfers. There are, I think, six different tee boxes here. We've tried them all, <laughs> pretty much. Yes, we have. We have tipped this place out at 70, what was it, 7,700 yards, something like that? Something like that. It was, it, heavy, it was a poke, 72, 77. We're not beating ourselves up on that today. We're going to play in a mid-range tee box. We want to try to play well in the Golf Fizzy Virtual Open, of course. And again, like I said, we'll tell you more about how that works because it's got a really cool handicap system so that we can have golfers of all skill levels play. We'll tell you how that works. But first, we got to find uh, this ball. I think it opens up. I think you should be right there, Mike. I see it. Yep. yep. Okay. 122. It's a good miss. It's a fairway, right? Yep. It's a fairway. <laughs> yeah. 122 to that flag. There we go. You gotta love uh, I need some the hand raise from uh, Zach out I there. I get through the day with that. I yeah. Think we, I think I'm gonna do something different and maybe hit a seven iron and just try to like run it. A little skirt. It's got this tree and I got a really awkward stance. Nope, couldn't do it. Just too awkward. Yeah, Can't get down there. We're gonna have a lot of those today. Yeah. Tell you, I would have. I think I would have rather have just been in the bunker there and not have a ball so far below my feet. You know. I know, that's a tough one. But like I said, we're probably gonna have that many times today. This course is a beast. Well, now we got 64 yards and um, we got some really fast greens. Coming on out, here it is, release down. Another fairway to a birdie putt, the Mike store. Uphill putt too. It's yeah. a Mike story indeed. Be nice to start off the uh, virtual open I here with a nice that. birdie, huh? Wouldn't it? Be better than a negative number on the first hole of the GBO. <laughs> Come on. Good turn. Right there. Yep. That went a little right on you, didn't it? It did. I didn't see that happening. Good par though. Thank you. Par from the car. Par from the car. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably one of the hardest holes, right, Brad, on this course? Give me. Yeah. So there's a bunker on the left, which you want to avoid because it's very much uh, sloped. And then on the right, if you go a little too far right, you're into the third fairway. So you got to hit it down the middle. <laughs> That's all. Just got to hit it down the middle. That's all. Okay. okay. Perfect. Hello. It's not going to kill me, right, Brad? So that'll be, uh, that might be in the third uh, fairway over there. <laughs> He just likes to play the other fairways, that's all. Whatever, sounds like a part of them. Yeah. I think the tricky part too is when you have to find a fairway and you got a hole that still clocks over 400 yards. It could hit less than driver here, but then you make a much longer approach. It's a great ball. Oh, perfect. Down the middle. Just slowed that one down and tried to find the fairway.
I don't know if this guy's doing it on purpose at this point, but he seems to have better looks from the other fairways. Look at this look he's got here. 165. 165 shot, straight at it. Can't miss it right at all though. Should I take one more club to be safe? Or do I go flag hunting with the eight iron? Well, what I would say is the greens, they're soft. So if you come in high enough, they will stop, but they're also quick. If you come in low, they'll go. <laughs> Just get out of here. <laughs> Start fading for me, Mike. Or kick off that hill. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Rolling down towards the green. Yep. You're gonna be wedging that bad boy. Yeah. Still can't tell you how incredibly soft this place is for having just days and days of just baking hot here in the Northeast. What a bit of a boom here, huh? You know what? I can't believe the water actually almost came into play. I know. I didn't even think it would come into play. But you see this right here, NX10? It's one of the prizes for the GVO. Definitely not gonna want to miss that one. 138.139. That one felt better, good. That's right. A little bit. Yeah, that I'm was, just that's I'm compressing perfect, it more. That's a perfect divot right there. Mike's got his uh, fifth wedge in his hand, the Texas wedge. Guy loves it. Yeah, go back left. Stop. Stop. Now I'm gonna need a wedge. See, Mike, that's how we use a wedge. This is the one I love to hear in the comments of how would you play it? Not a lot to look at. Yeah, what is this about? What is this? I would suggest playing it way back in your stance. This is an actual shot where you play it back in your stance and you kind of pop it with your putter. It'll pop right out of there. Hit it. Oh. Hit it. oh. Hmm. I had a good idea, but I didn't give it the pace. Nope. Good par. Definitely had some uh, mixed emotion memories of this hole because we've played it as far back as the tips, which are basically in the parking lot, making this a massive carry. And it's still no poke, no little poke of a carry here, but uh, really just a cool par four. Just got to get it again, like the last one in the fairway. Nice. I don't want to lose my Grove tape. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta the Grove. Down. You went down to the Grove. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> we we found this tape. Yeah. Yeah. I got the, yeah. It's like all I got was this stupid t-shirt. Yeah. Got that on the fourth hole of Sleepy Hollow. Yep. <laughs> I've been using it since. Yeah. We found this at Sleepy Hollow. I'm trying Mike's new technique. Hi, Tel. Fly from the right. Fly the other. From the fairway. <laughs> Fly the other fairway. <laughs> yeah, I like Works it. so well for Mike. <laughs> Beautiful. He's right, right back to the fade. Fading nicely. Nice shot. I had a uh, chicken sandwich. I'm back on that macro life. Yeah, peanut butter banana. Peanut butter banana, you're on that Elvis life? <laughs> Is that what he ate? <laughs> yeah. Is that a thing? You see peanut butter, banana, and honey sandwiches, right? Call me Elvis then. Elvis. Oh, I eat these things every day. They're you trying to work? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> almost died. Okay. How you doing? Working on that Elvis body. Working on it. Gotta grow those chops. You gotta get that white suit. Just. I remember this is a really tricky green too, if mm -hmm. I remember right. Mm -hmm. Always parked right on top of the ball. Oh, yeah. one. Crispy 100 shot. It's a 100 yard shot. Little wind coming right to left. Honestly, some of these are just happy to be. I got part of Mike's Elvis sandwich here. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just going, forget flag hunting. Middle of green. Oh. Oh, huh? A little long. Uh, here I was worried I didn't have enough club. You too long, both of us. Brad is the only one here on the dance floor right now. Still got a ways to go, but he's on the dance floor. Not a bad lag. Get on that green. Yeah, not bad. The grain got you. That was a great shot. Sure great pot. Yeah. Great pot. Heck yeah. 
There's an up and down. All right, fourth hole is a par three here coming up. And one thing I love about the par threes here is you can really, again, depending on what tee boxes you play here at Pound Ridge, you can really test just about any distance because there's tee boxes all the way back and all the way up for different handicaps. I'm just looking at this. You could play this hole anywhere from 112 on the front to 169, 170 on those back tees. Lots of options here, depending how you want to play the course. I mean like that it was so good Ugh. all right work now work Just didn't uh, turn like I thought it would. All right, so while we're driving up, let's talk real quick about the structure of the tournament. So like I said, go to golfisy.com slash open to register. All the instructions are there, four simple steps, and you're gonna fill out a registration form. That's gonna be for our door prizes, which are picked at random when the tournament is over. All you need to do is register and log around in the open, and you are qualified for those at a random drawing at the end of August. You have from August 1st to August 30th, first to enter and you're going to go in when you play your round you're going to enter your gross score so we're going to use the peoria system which is actually a really cool handicapping system this way i know a lot of people who play might not have a handicap established so what it does is there's a couple of secret holes there's six holes that the system keeps track of and depending on your performance on those holes is how it develops a handicap for the round so even if you have a tough round you could still be in there for the chance for those net leaderboards we're gonna have live leaderboards all that information is at golfisticcom slash open we have a lot of fun with this every year so make sure you guys join Yeah, how do you end up with the same shot on every hole here? I know. Certainly getting the hang of it, Mike. I am. All right. Play the shot enough times, you get it, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Oh. I still messed it up. Darn. All right. Put it right over that side. Ugh. Darn. This fifth hole is a wild par four. Typical Pete Dye making you think it is not long. However, just look at this fairway. I mean, just not a flat lie anywhere to be found, bunkering to death and a difficult green that you cannot be long on. I mean, it is uh, definitely a thinking man's hole, a strategizing hole here. I think I might hit hybrid off the tee. Brad was just telling us that you can definitely go driver here and there's a spot up the middle where you can get it almost to run up to the green. Mike is gonna do it. He's gonna go with the driver. Yeah, I'm gonna no go. No guts, it. no glory. I tell you what, I've been right too many times. It's solidly in my head. I'm just going to go safe with the hybrid here. Okay. But uh, by all means, you get after it. It's Golf Izzy Virtual Open. Let's go. Might kill that guy working in the bunker, though. Yeah, Mike. Nah. I, I saw it up oh, on I the... I see it on the core path. Yeah, it's see on it? the path. It's rolling down. It's coming down. It's still rolling. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to make its way all the way to the fairway, right? That's a good look at the green, right? Yeah. Oh no. I still go right. It's in my head this hole. You'll be okay though, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Let's hope. Oh, yeah! Oh, another fairway no regulation way. off the rocks. Are you right where serious? I wonder where a driver would be. That was Pete Dye genuinely giving me one he back. He was saying thank you. For how many Sorry. I put in that water, he gave me one back. Good shot. That's perfect shape. Get up and over that. Look at that thing run. That's nice that's shot. how you play. That's it. Sometimes it's funny, man, the way your golf game is. If it's just in the back of your head that like you go always go right. Even when I tried to play today, I think I think like I said, I think that was Pete Dye thinking. At least you tried to think your right. way through the hole. Yep. That Brad's was in great shape. Your Bye. luck. That's your much. luck. Oh no no! Hit the flat. Oh. Oh, did I ever thin that? You thin Wow, it. did I ever thin that? Yeah. Talk about not making the most out of a good luck no. bounce, huh? All right, so Mike can definitely take relief. He's on the cart path here. There you go. Okay. Better lie there. All you right. have a little bit more okay. of a line. Uh, he'll catch you sometimes in those uphill lies. Solid recovery.
Great shot, Frank. Oh. Many ways to make par, man. That's a scrappy There's par. No for how on the scorecard. <laughs> That's right. No pictures on the scorecard. So this next par three coming up here plays down the hill with the so many varied tee box options here. You can play it and we have played it and we have no business playing it from the tip. Played it something like 230 from back there. So we're gonna play at a much more reasonable distance here. I think it's gonna come in somewhere around 150. We'll see what that is with the slope. We're gonna fire it with the NX10 now and give you guys a number. There's no, there's no additional green to work with back there. They got this thing all the way to the back. What do we got? 177 playing 165. With these greens, I'm shooting the middle of the green, 164 playing 152. We have yet to find a safe place for Zach to stand. Yeah, no, we have not. It's all on him though. He picks where he wants to stand. You can see, he's a dedicated, uh, dedicated <laughs> guy. And you know what? I'm very happy with it. I played it short. I didn't want to flirt with that back at all. Okay, wind kept it, looks like short of that bunker. Yeah. Not bad at all, you can putt that. Well, Brad, I'm glad you're going first. Yeah, yeah. I get to watch this roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> It was a pretty good try. <laughs> Not enough. Go. Well, it wasn't too yeah. bad, man. What do you see, Mike? Right to left, a little uphill. I got that right? Uh, yep. <laughs> nice when you can get below the ball, isn't it? Uh-huh. Real nice. Not too much. I pushed it right through the break. Yep. I'm nervous for that. Drop it. No! Oh, come on. Stupid. All right. One reason I love doing this tournament every year is when you do play a tournament, even something like this that's technically low pressure when it comes to tournaments, you still feel it, you know, and you start to realize like even something like that, like a missed opportunity there or could have made a, a par, made a bogey, can really change where you are on the leaderboard. So it gives you a feel for what that tournament play is like. So if you haven't experienced tournament play, it's a good place to uh, do it with the virtual open. Now this is a great hole. Um, I like to play it up the left side just because it opens it up to the green. Um, it's a little bit into the wind, so you long hitters might be able to get there. Remember, yeah, I remember the Mike shot yeah, from was, two years ago. That was awesome. But we're gonna try to get it out there and see what we can do. Okay, Bird, birdie hole. Let's stay on the left side, like you said. Good ball. Not bad little right. I've been over there. Test my memory. You wear that outfit at the uh, Tobacco Road? You know where, yep. yeah. <laughs> this is the, this is to the toe, right? head to toe Tobacco Road. I had to break it out for Pound Ridge. I had to. Oh, going that way. I think I'm on this side of those rocks. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Everything rolls right up there. So. All right, let's see. All right, Brad's going to try to turn this ball left to right around the corner here. Turn that nicely. Good shot shape Bro. there. Miss that tree. Miss it. Oh. oh. Looks so good. Hopefully it just dropped down there somewhere. Yep. 216. I gotta do one of these around a tree. There we go. All right, we're gonna hook it. You know, just throwing this out there, you could also play it safe. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's hooking. Look at that. What a shot. What a shot. What a golf shot. You love this hole. He loves this hole. He loves this hole. Love this hole. Love this hole. Love this hole. <laughs> Get out of here. Yes. What is with you in this hole? I have no idea. <laughs> wow. That was a shot. That Thanks, was. man. That was a shot. Woo. Look at me trying to talk you out of it and make the safe play. That's Never the last like. I'll just close my mouth. I won't say anything start anymore. Any talk, I'm just going, Frank, 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 right, Frank. Right, right. <laughs> Man, you got an eagle putt. I do. Eagle. It looks like it's close. It does. 
Wow, oh, man. What a shot. Thanks, man. That feels good. Great shot. Yeah. Yeah. Good, green. That's awesome. good recovery. In all the years doing this filming, Frank, we've never had a tap in Eagle on the channel. I think the best part was Frank was trying to talk you out of it. Are you he trying, was trying to, to have you hit a nine iron. You can play safe, you could lay it up, yeah, right? I fired him as my caddy just there. <laughs> All right, look at this, guys. Jeez Louise. That's sick. You could tap in your eagle and the rest of us can clean up our scraps here. Look at that. Wow. Great eagle, dude. Beautiful. Thank you. Incredible. Oh, I like this. Turn, turn, oh. And she's so quick down that hill. Oh, come on, Frank. Right into the grain, yeah, you got to a little bit, like that was down grain on the first one. And yeah, it on the she's lightning down here. Mm -hmm. Might be the first eagle on the uh, leaderboard. I mean, we're playing an early round here. Yeah, you're right, we are. It might be. I think it's the first eagle of the GVO. Yeah. That's the first eagle on the channel, I think, honestly, since... Um, Brattleboro, my eagle. Your eagle at Brattleboro. Yeah, Last it's been fall. a bit, been a bit. Wow. All right, Brad, I know this is like a little bit of a different hole here. Uh, we've played this before. It's kind of a, almost a blind shot into that fairway, but just looking right right down the middle, I guess, with those two uh, fairway bunkers. But I do like kind of favoring the left side here because, um, you know, the ball will kick a little bit to the right. It's soft up there, but I, I still think aim down the left side of the fairway. Left side here. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how an amateur golfer does on the hole after he makes an eagle. <laughs> 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 Well, there's your I answer. Say, but you're aiming over there, bud. I was trying to. Trying line to... Now he just wants to hook everything. Yeah. Low that... runner. Yep, that left side you said. Good ball. Oh, yeah. Good swing. Stay left. Stay in the air. Stay in the air. Might have carried it. Might have. I couldn't see. Right. Drop down at the base of that tree there. Thought I might have had enough to carry it. It would have been so great here. But now we've got uh, what no golfer enjoys, which is that fairway bunker shot. Yeah. All right, let's see how he does. Long because how thin it was. But yeah, I, wanted to, I wanted to catch it clean and I got a little thin. Ah. The old Sprecher shot. You know, you got away with it too. I totally did. <laughs> <laughs> She's still rolling, but. All right, we're fine. Yeah. That might work out really well. Oh, God, I love the 9 iron bump more and more every day. See? More confidence you're gaining. Yep. Coming back. Coming back. Coming back. Oh. Not bad. Oh, Frank. Wow, I left a lot of strokes on these greens. Mm-hmm. A lot of strokes. All right, so last year in the Golf Fissy Virtual Open, we had over 1,000 people register and, and over 700 people log around and actually play. So our goal this year is to get 1,000 people to play 1,000 rounds of golf. So help us out, hit that like button, smash the like button so that this video goes out to more people. We wanna let more people know about the Open because we love seeing that live leaderboard and like I said, you can enter your scores kind of as you go, as you're playing, or if you want to kind of put the phone away and enter your score after, you can do that as well. Like I said, just make sure that you guys are entering those gross scores. It will calculate the net for you. You don't need to worry about it. If you do have a handicap, don't enter your net scores. Enter your gross scores. The Peoria system will make sure to calculate it for you. But let's see if we can get that leaderboard to 1,000 players. So smash that like button. Let's get this video out to as many people as we can. So the tees here are up a bit as far as what we're used to back there. And it brings that right side tree line into play a lot more. So you definitely have to stay left. The hole moves to the left and it moves up the hill towards an elevated green here. So tee shot's got to be left. Perfect. Yeah, tempo count. That was beautiful. All right. What a perfect play there. Go. 
go. Oh. Yeah. All right, Mike is definitely in the go zone here for this par five. I asked him, can we make it two? Two eagles? Is that too much to ask you? Two eagles and nine holes? Like a little much, but I'm up for the challenge. Okay. 179 playing 193. Yep, it's uphill. You saw like Brad's, anything that hits that hill is stopping. You're not, it's not gonna roll. Yeah, I like my uh, little six iron here, I think. Get a little short, I like the 85 numbers when I want. Okay. Uh, just kicked past Zach there. All right, guys, so make sure you subscribe because we're going to finish up this ninth hole here. And on the next video, we're going to take on the back nine. And that's where some of the changes have been made on 17. There's also some incredible signature hole par threes on the back that we're going to get to. Plus, you're going to want to know where we finished it. Well, round. Sorry, let's or go you're going to want to know if Mike flips the card at any <laughs> given point. So don't ever forget to subscribe for that. Oh, I think we're going to need to see a magic Mike moment here. Look at this lie, dude. And this is, this is, if you look in the dictionary under short-sided, if you look up short-sided, this is the picture right here. You got about four paces onto the green. Oh. Yeah, I was going for the concrete. Yep. All right. Okay. Nice play up there from Brad. Yeah, good shot. Off that hill. This is this is when we have to like sit you down and do a Texas wedge intervention. This is an intervention. This is a Texas wedge. All my friends, gather them up. Gather them up, Mike. You know we're here because we all care about you, <laughs> and we want to talk to you. I You're just, gonna do a Texas wedge through the rough. I am. I didn't like the way that felt. I don't like this grass right here. It's a feel game for this guy. He plays all by feel. Brad, don't watch this. As an instructor, you may not want to see this. <laughs> 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 Told you. Close your eyes. We said we're gonna have a Texas Wedge intervention. <laughs> well, let's start turning left. And keep moving. Oh, look at that left. Yeah, look at that banger. That thing put on the it put on the turn signal. <laughs> I didn't see that last tail. All right. We put on. I thought at the end that might break this way. All right, that wraps up the front nine. Like I said, guys, join the Golf City Open. Go to golfficity.com slash open. It's super easy to register. It's completely free, and we've got huge prizes. Of course, we've got to finish our round. So now we're going to make our turn and take on the back nine. So make sure you subscribe, smash that thumbs up button. We'll catch you in the next video on the back nine here at beautiful and challenging Pound Ridge. We'll see you guys over there.